Hey traders, okay, so I just discovered something quite cunning um, on CR charts. Uh, earlier on today, I posted up a chart uh, I've been using, um, similar to what Ben's been using. Um, we've just, I used to be able to do this on Ninja Trader quite easy just by the, the volume profile tool that I had on there. Uh, obviously, with CR charts, uh, it seems to be a little bit more difficult. Um, obviously, the programming is so many settings, and uh, but there, if you when you get good at CR charts, that you literally can do anything. Um, most of the time with the settings there it just takes a long time to learn how to do it um, I've been using this for <laughs> quite a long time now and I just figured out something like I said pretty cunning so um, I mean my my current um, default uh, volume profile uh, is set up I'll just quickly find it so volume by price so my default settings are from start date to end date which is currently for um, for this, so if I select a, a, ch um, a volume at profile chart, I mean these are the settings that are currently set up for it. So it's just a hollow outline with um, the point of control and uh, the value high and low with this uh, with this um, dotted line to, to highlight the area that you're looking for. So before I'd go in, I'd have to, to highlight the dates, etc. So to do this, I mean once it's once you have um, once you have the settings there uh, that you're happy with, so you go through you, you set all the settings up and then you do your colors I mean once you're done you put save these settings as default save these settings as default so once you've done that um, obviously any chart you you load up it will just it will load up the um, it load up the default settings that you've applied for it so I've, I have uh, it for this balance area as you can see that's the last settings that, um, that it was set up for but uh, like I said I've just figured out something quite cunning that you can that you can use you bear with me I'll show you so once you have the default settings uh, set up um, you can do this which is pretty cool you can go to tools you can go to more tools uh, sorry you go to tools and you can put draw volume profile and you can literally select the area that you want to examine so say you want to examine uh, this area here Ta -ding. <laughs> now you can see this area that and you can move it I mean this is awesome I didn't realize you could do this so from say you want to inspect this current balance here uh, you just you just move it around to where you want to use it and uh, and um, it's awesome <laughs> so I just thought I'd uh, do a little lesson so I mean you can use these as multiple profiles draw volume profile so you want to expect this uh, this micro balance area here and you want to expect this area here I mean and now you can look at multiple areas um, and then delete them. I mean, this is this is a very very cool feature that um, I never knew existed on Sierra Chart. So uh, yeah, um, if you have any troubles uh, setting this up or um, you want to know any more information about this, then uh, let me know and I'll I'll do a more in depth video on this. But I mean, I think it's pretty simple. Um, like I said, once you have the the default setting set up that you want, um, then that's uh, it seems it seems to be the case and then you can just literally just draw the area that you want to um that you want to inspect so rather than me going in and setting up these multiple areas like I've been doing um it seems pretty simple to let's just try it cuz I've not actually tried it on this chart yet so so I want to uh I want to inspect this um this this balance area here so let's have a go so we'll go to tools we'll go to draw volume profile and uh We'll select the area that we want to examine so uh, we see the breakout there so we will highlight this and yeah great I mean we we can now I've now examined this uh, this area and now I have from this area I had the volume distribution for this for this balance and we have the the V puck and we have the, the value areas to to work with so um, very very handy because this was a little bit time consuming it was um, a little bit tedious going in setting dates and times every time for each study so this is just obviously um, a handy tool just to look at for uh, for getting in, in expecting any um, short term balance or elongation that um, you want to that you want to check out I mean so you can see here we, we, we studied this area we see from the extreme back to the mean anyway um, yeah, I just thought it would be cool to share this. Um, again, any questions about this, uh, please don't hesitate to ask.